little technical here. We're going to try to uh, demonstrate the flight trajectory through water. As the uh, on the board, we've got the little official scientific grid on each one. As y'all can see, they were also numbered as well, if you can see that. Okay, where we're going is just gonna have one in front. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing the Hornady Black 6.5 Grindle. Uh, the water trajectory shot. We got the boards with our scientific grid on it, or grid, our scientific grid. And we got the water jugs set up, and we're going to see if there's any kind of deflection as it goes through the water jugs. So here you go. Here we go. This is the numbers were at the top. So this is the board. So that's the actual hole. I know it sucks. I need a table. Like this. See where it hit? And then here's number two. You notice on the other shot I did, the, the second board, that, that's where most of the destruction was. It blew the, the board apart on the 300 blackout. But you see the hole got bigger right there. And then on three, it's uh, making its way. The bullet really didn't change course much. It's still... Hitting in the same general area. So we are still doing good on that. It's still a good straight flying bullet. Y'all are wondering where the bullet's at. It did make it into jug number three. And here's that 6.5 Grendel for y'all. It's a nice bullet. Came out of the jacket. But there you go. Nice little bullet. Nice little expansion. There's my thumb. Is my thumb fat or is it skinny? If it's skinny, that's a hell of an expansion. My thumb is fat. Whatever, I don't care. That's that's the bullet. So there you go. Thanks for watching.